Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain life cycle of JSP. So JSP stands for Java Server Pages. It's a server-side programming uh, which is used to provide dynamic content to client or used to process users' data. So uh, this is a very simple JSP program. Here we are writing a hello world message to client. So first of all, uh, when we try to run this dot JSP. So when we write this one, uh, the complete URL in browser. So what actually happened? This code is actually converted into a corresponding servlet. So you can see that servlet. What you have to do? Go in Tomcat work Catalina localhost, and here we have copied our first dot JSP in demo folder. Org Apache JSP. So this code, so first step in JSP lifecycle, JSP program is actually converted into servlet. So this is the servlet. So this uh, the first step when we execute a JSP program, JSP code is actually converted into a servlet program. So this is the servlet program for our JSP page. So this is the first step, conversion of JSP to servlet. Second step this program will be compiled so there is a class file if you can see so after conversion servlet converted servlet will be compiled third step is that this class file will be loaded in memory and after loading this class file in memory one instance of this servlet will be created and then in gsp we are having a method like gsp init JSP destroy and JSP service. So uh, after creating instance of that servlet class, JSP init method is called. So this method is actually used for initialization purpose. And for every request, whenever a JSP page will receive a request, this code will be executed. JSP service. And at the end, uh, JSP destroy method will be called. So uh, in life cycle, we can write here like uh, first step, JSP converted into servlet. So this is the first step. Second one, servlet is compiled. Third, class loaded in the memory. Fourth, we are having instantiation fifth JSP init method six for every service JSP service method and at the end when uh, once work is done JSP destroy method is So what you need to remember in JSP lifecycle, whenever a request is sent to server for a JSP page, that page is actually converted into corresponding servlet. If that uh, uh, request is not first request, so in that case, class file of that servlet already will be available there. So that class file simply will be loaded in memory. Otherwise, after conversion, that code will be compiled. After compilation, generated class file will be loaded in the memory one instance of that class file will be created then JSP init method will be called which will initialize uh, our JSP program then for every request JSP service method will be called and finally JSP destroy method will be called so this is life cycle of JSP thank you for watching